there would be interest from time to time in a reboot or a sequel or a television. We had a great idea for, um, for uh, uh, we, were, we wanted to turn it into a 10-episode uh, arc limited summer series. We keep hearing whispers about a possible sequel written by the VHS and ABCs of Death writer director Simon Barrett. Have you heard anything about that? Yeah, um, what we heard was I thought um, it was the there, Kong versus Godzilla director. Yeah, it was the Kong, it was the Kong versus Godzilla director who kind of made this announcement came out right before the movie Kong versus Godzilla came out. And by the way, that's that's a pretty common gambit in show business when. Uh, you know, a director or actor or somebody, they have a movie coming out and they're not exactly sure how it's going to do. Uh, mm -hmm. In the weeks ahead of time, they will flood the trades with how busy they are and what their next project is and how great their career is going and all that stuff. And that that's a pretty common phenomenon. And so, th so we were as surprised as anybody when that news hit and we did speak to the producer, David Permit, who didn't, you know, didn't was who we love dearly. He's a, just a great guy. Um, so, he, but he couldn't say too much about it. Specifically, he just said, it's a great idea. The script's coming in. I really think it's going to be great. But then we never heard a single peep after. So we don't know if the script ever came in or if it didn't work or, or what, but we haven't heard a peep. But when you guys are creating a story like that, like putting a, a movie like like you create face off, you put it out there. Do you in situations like that? Is there ever like a right to first refusal or something that, for that seven you're offered? years? Seven. OK, that's what I was wondering, because it, it's got. Oh, man. Yeah, I guess seven years is enough time to be like, all right, somebody else can play with it for a little bit. Um, um, James and, we, and we did pitch them <laughs> over the years. There would be interest from time to time in a reboot or a sequel or a television. We had great idea for, um, for uh, uh, we were, we wanted to turn it into a uh, 10 episode arc limited summer series. Yeah. Uh, where uh, in one season, we were going to have a, do it with two women with a completely different plot. Another, which would have been probably the first season where, uh, we because the surgery needed to change a bit uh, where um, we cross a racial barrier. Oh, I doubt we have we have a, a black uh, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist who blows this uh, sort of Aryan nation brotherhood uh, cabal apart, leading to a lot, you know, sort of like a Waco kind of disaster. But a few people are surviving, including the leader's son who's hell bent on revenge for his father. And then our hero wakes up uh, in a, some sort of slimy New, New Orleans, I think it was, motel, uh, where he um, is wearing the face, the white face of a uh, white nationalist serial killer. So, and has to try and get his own life back. Yeah, the, 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 the difference between the first movie and this movie was... What Mike just told you was like what happened, but we didn't know in the, the difference is we spent so much time setting up in the first film why they needed to do the surgery. In this, he's just, this guy's just grabbed off the street, wakes up and has a different face on. And, wow. and the whole movie is him trying to figure out why, who did it and why. And he That's discovers crazy. that he's like the serial killer. They basically kidnapped him and stuck a serial killer's face on him and basically Damn. said, go try to survive. And he's also does he has to learn all this stuff about this guy's life. Has no idea he's closeted gay, wasn't he gay? Maybe in one version. I don't know. So don't suddenly know. This is, this his is, boyfriend this. is coming this. on to him. So this is something that you flushed out. That, you know, this is something that was like on paper that you flushed out. Yeah. Can yeah. we pitch this to Paramount TV? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. That's crazy. That that's that, amazing. That's we pitched a few yeah. versions. We pitched a few versions. And the ironic thing was, like, after the movie came out and made a ton of money, we they said, hey, could you guys have any ideas for a sequel? All, all the studio did the whole time the movie was being made was complain how much money they were paying Travolta and Cage, how they had gotten completely ripped off. And they did. They paid them a shit ton of money. It was worth every dime, but mm -hmm. they, they complained about it. And so when... When the movie came out, we had a meeting and they said, do you have any ideas for a sequel? We said, well, yeah, we do. But 
you know, these guys can't swap faces again. I mean, we can't do Travolta right. and Cage. I mean, that would be absurd. Right. And they were like, oh, well, never mind. We're not interested then. We were like, but all you did was complain about how expensive <laughs> they were. You're like, ah, we don't want to do a sequel if it's not Travolta and Cage. And now, like, oh. now this new director, writer, they're, aren't they trying to get them back? Yeah, I yeah. Saw we don't, we don't know that. the story, but they are. Yes, they're trying to get them back. Maybe just for a prologue or teaser. Or something. Sure. Yeah. yeah, like a subplot. Yeah, my my suspicion, although it's based on absolutely nothing, is my suspicion is they 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 want to use the young kid at the mm. who comes in it's Travol- Caster's son Adam, who, yep. of course, would now be grown up. Uh, my my suspicion is like he's like the lead somehow. And those two guys would be like, like they did in Star Wars, you know, like that that story wrapped up so well in the first film that it would be hard to, without stretching too much. Like I like your guys' idea of taking the concept instead of the story and using that as a continuation device. Like this, that this is this is the thing that connects it to the first one. It's just the concept of what's happening, yeah. the theme, instead of uh, just a, an actual like you know continuation of the first story. Mm-hmm.